Hey guys, it's Dave here, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you can, go ahead and subscribe because I got a lot of good info from time to time and some mediocre info, just like everybody else. So, today it is raining cats and dogs outside, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I power on this rig um, and a little bit of the software involved in uh, getting the game data and my input data to those good motors over there to make this thing move. So let's take a look. All right, so let's go for a quick look around the rig. Um, it's actually powered by a 12 volt truck battery. Um, it's uh, 850 cold cranking amps. And I have it attached to a battery tender four amp charger. The, the motors, um, I don't know if you've seen any of my old videos, but I have uh, three of these crab pop motors that I bought from Canada. They seem to be doing the trick. Each of them run off a uh, Hall Effect potentiometer. One, there's for the traction loss, and there for the, uh, quote, driver side motor. There's an Arduino, which is talking to the uh, computer software bunch of messy wires. I'm, I've already rebuilt this, but I haven't installed the new one yet. They're running up to each of these IBT um, motor controllers. Um, one controller for each motor. So I've got the one left or driver side, passenger side, and the traction control or traction loss motors. Um, all of these running off on-off switch so I've got two of these emergency on-off switches so now it's off um, and these are these are um, very stranded um, very lightly stranded battery gauge um, number six cables so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on still have to move that other butt kicker to the front but let's let's move up here so i have another emergency on off switch and we'll be turning that on in a second um basically have a couple other things still need to do some trimming down here maybe once i get the the new wheel this is the old driving force wheel and I just have a single monitor. Um, I do have the pedals. I haven't lightened them up, but I, I did some tweaking and I got the uh, control arms back to their normal position. So instead of using this hole, which did give it uh, really rapid response. These, after the tweaking, a little bit of greasing, everything was fine. Well, and the last thing is the Oculus. So I've got the Oculus Rift CV1, which, oh, Oculus just started up. So let's see if we can get this rig started. Okay, so basically I'll close down the Oculus for now. There's a couple different uh, things I wanna take a look at. Uh, the first one is the SM. C3 utility software and what it's going to do is communicate with the Arduino on COM port 5. I look at motor 1 and make sure that my potentiometer reading is down here. Look at motor 2, make sure it's up there. And I look at the traction loss motor and make sure that it's in the middle. Okay, now I know it's working. Um, basically what I can do is I can put any of these motors one at a time into... Oh, <laughs> forgot to turn the machine on. Okay, so this is my on button. I go ahead and give it a shot. Now it's on. <laughs> That's important. Um, I have it in manual and I have the traction loss in manual. So I go ahead and just give it a quick, nice and easy test, because it will throw you around. Uh, motor one, same thing. Whoa, 
And I normally don't test these other than just to see, make sure that it's working okay. So mo that's motor one and motor two, the same type of thing. Now that everything is um, set and centered, I can go motor three and center it. I can get rid of this software because I know it's I know it's communicating, and I start up the uh, the game engine, which that starts up with the when the computer starts up, so it's right over here. I'll just go ahead and take a look. Um, now this is the primary way that the games will communicate with the sim rig. Um, you have interface settings where you can set your, your COM port, your data, data, uh, data bits, parity, so it's 50,000, 8, 9, and 1, um, output of 10, um, and a bunch of other things. We'll go into this some other time. We don't really want to do it right now. Access assignments. We wait for that to load up. I load up a set of courses, so this is what I've been doing for it. I have my surge set for 80, the traction loss for 75. Right now, I have pitch and roll at 5%. So pitch, when I'm going down a hill or up a mountain, that's pitch. Roll, going around a curve like at Daytona, so rolling. So I only have it at 5%. Don't have it on a lot. Um, just because it is what it is. I feel it just fine the way it is. I am going to turn it up a little bit in the game, but right now I'm leaving it at that. Now sway is when I'm turning left, the chair is going to pitch the other direction and it's going to simulate the G-force effect of how hard I'm turning into the corner. Now I've set this for seven or fifteen percent, and there's one other thing. There's an access limiting thing. I've got access one A. That's this eighty-seven percent. Access three A is the traction loss, and it's at ninety-one percent. So we know that this is working. We can test it if we want to, so we would turn it on. Um, so pitch and roll, so that's roll, pitch, forward and backwards. Heave, I can't do that really, it kind of simulates it, but I don't really have it set up because this is only a three degree of freedom setup. Yaw, like if I'm on, in a plane, like an aircraft and I have a rudder and Extra one is traction loss. So at least I know it's all working. Um, go ahead and clear it. Turn this off. We don't need this anymore. So what we we'll, what we do is start up the the game manager, and this program will allow different games to interface with. Uh, the simulator. So I start up the game manager. Game manager, I have a set of Corsa. That's just what I saved this particular one for. You can drop it down to a different uh, live for speed, dirt rally, whatever. Whatever games you have loaded in there. Those are the only ones that I have in here. I did buy their premium membership so I can look at everything, but or I can download any of the games that they're they're doing and I'll show you those later. I have a set of Corsa. I can set it at 90% intensity which means more force. If I set it really low it's not going to move the uh, platform as much. We've got pitch and roll. Heave, yeah. I don't, I'm not using yaw. I'm using sway at 12%, surge at 45 and traction loss at 43. So if you have more motors, you can set up more things, but I have three motors, so that's all I need. Um, the next thing would be to go to a set of Corsa, 
Oh, that's not a set of courses. That is there. KS Editor. So I go to a set of Corsa. And once I load that up, it's going to take the game data and output it um, through the USB port to the Arduino, which is going to control the the message sent to the motors. Now the motors are going to try to drive to a particular point that this thing is telling it to, or my pedals are telling it to, or the steering wheel. There's a lot of different things going on. Um, don't want to particularly explain them all right now, but just want to let you know how to get this thing started. Some of the plugins that uh, you can find for this game. Um, Set of Corsa, Beam, Dirt 2, F1, and these will all work with uh, a motion setup like mine. GT Legends, some of the older games, iRacing, uh, there we go. There are, there's flying games, uh, still a bunch of these racing games. I'm just going to keep scrolling down real easy so that nobody gets real sick. Um, flight simulations. I want to get this one. I like I said. I I bought the whole license to so I can download any of these. Um, I still have to buy the game, but yeah, Wings of Prey. That looks pretty cool. Um, and then No Limits Roller Coaster. So I'm gonna go over here to this. Um, this is my thread, um, kind of showing you the process of building my rig um i'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description the different things i had to do uh to go ahead and make it but uh all right so let's go ahead close this down i can leave oculus on and we'll go ahead and bring up a set of corsa and i'm gonna go race uh, Grobnik. Let me see what this looks like. So we are going to go to drive. We'll pick a different car. Starts with a G. Grobnik. Now, props out to the builder of this track. Where is that thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> We're going to take a look at this thing. It's a pretty wide track. Um, it's going to be fun to drive. I'm not going to pick this car, but I do like, this one's pretty cool. I mean, this thing really handles good. Um, so maybe we'll do that. All right. So this is the Horizons Shades natural filter so I'm taking a look at this filter it's in a little bit different than uh, the immersive I think I like the colors of the immersive just a little bit better uh, big shout out to Sir Spatz gaming for uh putting this uh track on his on his channel because it is pretty cool can take a lap or two not much because I know the video has already been pretty long get this thing going <laughs> yeah not too bad it's a rainy day so yeah 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 maybe we can catch up with these guys a little bit Really put the throttle down. Maybe. 
Oh, I should have put some gears on this car, but. Oh yeah. There's another one of these. <laughs> yeah. Hit my brakes. Right on him. All right, so this is the same race. This is using the immersive natural filter, which, I mean, I kind of like this a little bit better. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely like the colors a bit better. They. They're popping a little bit more in this. But it's all up to you and, and your preference on, you know, kind of like what you like to see. This would be more my cup of tea, I guess. Nissan GTR. Oh, cool. Whoa. It's a close race in here. Look at the mountains. This is awesome. Crank on the brakes. Get in there. I think I got bumped by somebody just now. Ah, that's okay. Like I said, I mean, it's raining today. And I <laughs> had a great old time. Well, hey guys. I guess, uh, I hope you had uh, fun watching the video. I did have a uh, bit of fun making it, even though it's a little bit longer than normal. Um, well, until next time, guys, this is Dave. And, uh, have a good one. I'm just going to keep on racing.